What is going on everyone? Who wants to learn about what cities have been seeing the most population growth over the last few years? Apparently, quite a few of you. I've been getting emails and comments about this subject for a couple years now. This would be considered a positive video. I normally don't do many positive videos, like I've said before. I'd like to. They just don't get the views. They get about a quarter of the views a negative video gets. So for all of you that think I should be doing more positive videos, rejoice! This is a positive video. Now, I was going to do just one about the biggest cities in the United States, but as we did the research, we realized that it should be broken down into two, maybe three videos. So the first ones will be, let's say, the middleweights. Not the giant cities that everyone on the planet knows about, but the smaller ones that, let's say, everyone in the US should know about. And stop typing. Slickapoo, Idaho, is not going to be on this list because nobody knows about it. I don't even know about it, but for some reason it does remind me my doctor said I need to eat more fiber. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, moving on. This one is easy to rank. We are going off the percentage the city added to their population from 2010 to 2018. Nice, clean, and simple. It should be easy to follow along at home. That being said, why not ignore the things you've been putting off all week and watch my top 10 medium cities gaining population? Number 10, Portland, Oregon. Now this is my current hometown. The Rose City, Stumptown, PDX, it carries a few nicknames. I was one of the people that added onto this stat back in May of 2010. Portland has been booming in recent years at a rate of about 10.2%. The city has gotten many new residents because of the jobs. Portland is home to some big employers including Intel, Nike, Amazon, Columbia Sportswear, and quite a few others to tell you the truth. Especially if you're in the beer or weed industry, this is the place to move to. Portland was always the first or second most moved to city from about 2007 to about 2016. It has slowed down quite a bit over the last few years, but it's still making the list. I think it slowed down when all the hipsters left and the riots began. It's just my opinion. Number 9. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines has had a population boom of about 16,000 people since 2010. Now I know that doesn't sound like much, until you realize in 2010 they barely had 200,000 people. That's not a lot of people. This growth is mainly due to low housing prices. Compared to most cities in the country at size, this would be considered dirt cheap real estate. Now I'm sure part of the reason it's dirt cheap real estate is Des Moines is continually ranked as one of the most boring cities in the country. And it's too bad. I mean, a lot of people do consider it boring. There's a lot of other people that just consider it nice laid back, and a calm lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very agreeable to a lot of people. But here in Des Moines, you could get a single family 1,600 square foot home for around $220,000. Not bad. Number eight, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville is a strange city. When you talk to the people, their voice sounds very much like they should be conservative, but their look is very much like they're liberal. I found that very strange. That and the sideburns. This place has an unsettling amount of dudes in sideburns. Weird. Nashville, Tennessee has a growth rate of about 14% over the last eight years. People used to flock to this city for the music and the southern hospitality. Today, they, they still flock there for those reasons, but now it's job opportunities. The city has a very low unemployment rate. The unemployment rate as of November of 2018 is only 2.6%. So if you need a job and you want to grow out some sideburns and not look weird, head to Nashville. This is another one of those ones that the last few years has kind of slowed down. It was one of the ones that were in the top five for for a long time, but it slowed down a little bit and kind of moved it down the list, but it's still growing. Number seven, Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins has seen a population increase at a rate of 14.8%. It is the schools and the scenery that's drawn them in. It sure ain't the diversity. This is easily one of the most Caucasian cities I've ever been to outside of Idaho. Fort Collins does have some amazing views to enjoy while you're studying, or while you're not studying. I mean, it's kind of hard to take in views while you're studying. You shouldn't be looking at other things besides the books or the computer, I imagine. Colorado State University is located here and not too far down the street from the main campus is the CSU Veterinary Teaching Hospital, which is kind of cool. It does also have a really nice downtown area. Fort Collins is like a beacon to the outdoorsy types and people that like craft beer. So, yeah. Number six, Boise, Idaho. Boise has been a pretty popular place lately. People are flocking to this city at a rate of 15.1%. What's drawing all the people in? Well, in part, it's the safety. Boise is an incredibly safe city, and for being one of the state's biggest cities, that's 
kind of rare. There's about seven crimes committed daily per 100,000 residents. That is really low. Most of them being property crimes, which is even more rare. The crime rate in Boise is lower than the national average and safer than 44% of the cities in the United States. Sure, it does have a problem with having too many landfills too close to the city, but hey, nothing's perfect. I just did a video about Boise and kept calling it Boise, like B-O-Y-Z-E-E, -E, making it sound that way. A friend that lives there told me that the locals hate that. Said they can't stand it and they will correct you all day. I can now confirm they do indeed hate that. Number 5. San Antonio, Texas San Antonio, Texas has seen its population jump by 15.5% over the years due to jobs mainly. Some big employers here are USAA, Toyota, and several finance corporations. They've got a lot of them there. Big in banking in San Antonio. San Antonio is also big if you're a veteran. They take care of their veterans here. One thing is they have one of the best VA hospitals in the country. The Audie L. Murphy Memorial VA Hospital. If you don't know who Audie Murphy is besides the hospital part, I would suggest looking him up. I promise you, you'll be impressed. Now, one knock on San Antonio is the people are worried about their home values if the Mexico border wall goes up in San Antonio. Stop typing. I'm totally kidding. San Antonio is like almost three hours from the border. Now, I promise you, people have stopped the video right after I said that and are leaving some nasty comment because they can't help themselves. I love human beings. Number four, Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston's seen people move here by a rate of 16.7% since 2010. The main push to move here are the people and the history. Charleston was ranked the second most friendly city in the entire world by travelandleisure.com. This goes all the way back to when the city originated and to the beginnings of the Civil War over 150 years ago. The city was there before the Civil War. It's just, that's where a lot of their history comes from. The city prides themselves on being nice. You can't beat that for a reason to move someplace. Sure, you'll eventually see all the history this great city has to offer. It will be a while because they have a lot, but you'll never get tired of people being nice to you. That's just a fact. Number three, Raleigh, North Carolina. 18.1% is the rate at which people are moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. Most people say they move there for the sense of community within the city. Raleigh is described as a big city with a small town feel. You often run into people you know at the grocery store. Instead of avoiding eye contact with you, they'll invite you over for drinks and dinner and actually mean it. Not like that Los Angeles invite. You see a couple at the store, you accidentally make eye contact, you have forced conversation for three minutes, and then you blurt out, by mistake, we should do dinner soon, and they want to take you up on it. As soon as you separate, you look at your wife and say, holy shit, I hate those two. If they call, I'm actually going to jump off the pier, swim out to sea, and never be heard from again. Number two, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach has had a population boom rate of 23.2%. The city has seen many new residents over the last several years because of its beach lifestyle and housing prices. You can get a 2,600 square foot townhome right off the beach for about four to 500,000. Now that is impossible in California. If you told a real estate agent that's what you were looking for, they would probably punch you in the head for being stupid. Now, obviously I'm exaggerating, so stop typing. Agents rarely go to blows over stupidity. However, if it's not gonna kill you to walk a few blocks, you could find a home a little more away from the water, actually cut the home price in half, like 200000 in a lot of cases. I've actually seen prices for decent homes a couple blocks off the beach and went to other websites to confirm the prices because I thought I was being lied to by a real estate website. That's how weird the prices are here. They don't make sense. They're just too cheap. And that's why people are moving there. And number one, Austin, Texas. People are flocking to Austin at a rate of 23.3% over the last eight years. One of the main reasons Austin has been so popular are the jobs. They have more than enough. Some of the major brands in Austin include Yeti Coolers, Whole Foods, Dell, and National Instruments. Jobs are just part of the allure here. Now, first of all, I can't believe I just used the word allure. I'm not even sure if I'm using it correctly. I'll tell you what, I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to leave it here and see how it works out. Anyway, Austin hasn't slowed down like some of the other places on this list. Portland and Austin were always like number one and two on this type of list. 
list for a handful of years. Portland has slowed down and Austin seems to be picking up steam. The 2020 census should let us know for sure. Austin shines in a few important categories that people look for when they're moving someplace. Amenities, as in things to do. Music and food are big in Austin. It's actually called the live capital of the world. Yeah, that's really their nickname. So you better have things to do when you got a nickname like that around your neck. Schools here are stellar. Housing prices and weather aren't too shabby. Their only real knocks aren't even as bad as other cities. Crime is a little high, especially for Texas standards. And the cost of living, because it's such a desirable place to live, is obviously climbing. It has been for a couple years, but it's still not terrible. Austin is the number one on this list. All right, so that's the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Uh, don't forget to hit all the links below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. All these cities are very nice places. If you're looking for a place to go, you could do so much worse than the 10 on this list. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.